It's an exciting time looking forward to the next GPU release, and we are looking at none other than the AMD Radeon RX 7950 XT. The RX 7000 series as a whole is hugely anticipated, as it will feature the new RDNA 3 architecture, but with everything very hush-hush around the cards themselves, we have rounded up every clue and leak we could find so you can get an idea of what to expect with this next coming release. With the leaked mind-blowing improvements in specifications and performances, there is a lot of hope for good competition and contention for the best GPU card available on the market with the new flagship of its generation. Nvidia already made a big move in 2022 by releasing the new RTX 4000 series and without any doubt we were expecting a response from AMD. Now AMD will follow suit with the release of its new RX 7900 XT graphics card series, an announcement confirmed for November of 2022. Nvidia is unleashing the next-gen GeForce RTX 4090 graphics card a few weeks ahead of AMD might have given Team Red time to adjust their specs before the November 3 unveiling. Interestingly, a new report sheds light on some awesome memory upgrades we are to expect in the new hardware. While we expected the RX 7900 XT graphics cards to be a top model, AMD has everyone in suspense as the high-end model will now be the 7950 XT. Expectations were that the RX 7900 was meant to feature up to 24 gigs of video memory. However, AMD had a change in its plans, and with this GPU, it has the memory downgraded to 20 gigs. So, with the 7950 XT model featuring a full Navi 31 GPU with 32 gigs of GDDR6 video memory, Hopes are high that AMD could be fighting and possibly beating the RTX 4090 with its 7950 XT. While the RTX 4080 16GB could be battling with the new 7900 XT. The Navi 31 graphics processor utilized in this GPU is an average size chip with a die area of 244mm squared. Unknown transistors count. 15,360 shading units, 768 texture mapping units, and 256 ROPs. AMD will apparently use at least two separate versions of the 931 chip, and the next generation RDNA 3 GPUs will receive WGP workgroup processors instead of the CU computing units. Recently, Twitter user GreyMon55, a well-known leaker, confirmed again that the top model 7950 XT will be equipped with the Navi 31 chip. The Navi 31 core used to have 15,360 Steam processors with an infinity cache of 512 megabytes, and is equipped with 32 gigs of GDDR6 video memory while retaining the 256-bit bus memory interface. The bandwidth can go up to 672 gigs, considering the use of the faster GDDR6 memories. Suggestive massive memory bandwidth on the next gen GPUs. Also, AMD's Navi 31 will use MCN multi-chip packaging, using a 5 nanometer process to manufacture GCD and 6 nanometer process to manufacture MCD. AMD will make changes to their original structure, no longer the original CU computing unit, and will use the WGP as their main computing model. This graphics card would have a memory bus that is 50% wider than AMD's 6900 XT, and is reportedly AMD's answer to the NVIDIA RTX 4090 Ti GPU, which was cancelled a GPU that features full potential for their ADA GPU architecture. From the block diagram assembled by Olark29, based on all the rumors that were floating around on Twitter, the Navi 31 GPU configuration shown here features two GCDs and a single MCD, has three shader engines, and each shader engine has two shader arrays. Each shader array is composed of five WGPs, and each WGP features eight SIMD32 units with all 32 ALUs. These SIMD32 units combine to make up 7,680 cores per GCD and 15,360 cores in total. Each GPU also comes with the four memory link links, 32-bit, which means that a 256-bit bus width will require eight 32-bit memory controllers. At a power consumption rate of up to 500 watts, the clock of this new flagship GPU is said to reach 2.5 GHz, providing 38.4 teraflops of FP32 computing performance. This GPU has 60 ray tracing acceleration cores, a fabrication process is TMC 5 nanometer, and operates at a base frequency of 2500 MHz, which can be boosted up to 2700 MHz, and a memory that runs at 2250 MHz. Additional reports say that AMD will not adopt the new 16 pin connector standard anytime soon or at least on its RX 7000 series because their reasons centered around AMD being skeptical about its stability. However, it is speculated that AMD's design for the 7000 series was complete prior to the introduction of this standard. RX 7950 Performance If the Radeon RX 7950 XT has 15,360 Steam processors clocked at 2.5GHz, 
that will make it 11% faster than the RX 6900 XT, supplemented by 38.4 teraflops of affected FP32 compute horsepower, a 67% improvement in compute over the 6900 XT. This GPU will also feature 200 watts higher TBP over the 6900 XT with a 500 watt TBP rating, also an increase of 67%. The AMD RDNA 3 Navi 3X GPU powered by Radeon RX graphics card lineup is expected to offer up to three times the performance improvement over anything currently offered by the existing RDNA 2. This would mark a major leap forward for the graphics evolution, especially now that AMD is already on board with the next-gen technologies such as FSR 2.0 and ray tracing. A very heated next-gen competition is expected between red and green teams, while the blue team tries to play catch-up. At the heart of the 7950 XT will be AMD's new RDNA 3 microarchitecture. RDNA 3 cards could also offer DisplayPort 2.1 support, which would provide room for increased performance. Although features for the DisplayPort 2.1 specifications are not known, but there is a good guess it will be markedly superb than the DisplayPort 1.4a offered by Nvidia's 40 series cards. We can say this from our knowledge of DisplayPort 2.0, whose specifications are known and include to support up to two 8K displays running at 120Hz or one 16K screen running at 60Hz among other configurations. Presently, only Intel's Arc GPU offers Display 2.0, and based off this knowledge, Display 2.1 should offer AMD gamers even better performance, provided at AMD coming with the RDNA 3 graphics cards. Early reports on this GPU hints that gamers can potentially see a performance improvement of 250% with AMD's new RDNA 3 microarchitecture over RDNA 2, which would be unprecedented. So far though, there haven't been any leaked benchmarks to confirm these early theories. But if AMD is successful at doubling the number of compute units and stream processors utilizing the chiplet design ported from its CPUs, we can expect to see some big upticks in graphics performance. RX 7950 Release Date Although AMD is aiming for a 2022 release with its RDNA 3 cards, it is possible that the entity of the initial RX 7000 lineup may not be seen this year. According to several sources, AMD is adopting a staggered launch strategy, with the 7900 XT and other high-end cards hitting the market first and mid to entry level cards being delayed until the early 2023. RX 7950 Pricing There have been more rumors about a tentative release date, but not much about the pricing. However, based on comparison, if the RX 6900 XT currently retails for about $900, the RX 7900 XT could cost as much as $2,000. This would represent a 100% increase in pricing generation over to generation, if this pricing holds true. With this, there's no telling what the price mark for the 7950 XT could be. Historically, AMD has priced its cards more competitively against Nvidia, and we expect nothing short of the situation, such as with both companies launch their next-gen lineups of GPUs. While we expect to see more details emerge in the coming days, only time will tell if the new RX 7950 XT GPU will still NVIDIA's slice of the market and also the customer's preference. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any other video ideas or topics that we should cover in the near future. If you did not like today's video, please leave a dislike and let us know in the comments down below how we can be more accurate and more smooth with our videos. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.